Hello, my name is Christian Martius, and this is Mercifully Short Stories, a podcast telling tales for the distracted, hyperactive, and noticeably absent. Episode 7 of Mercifully Short Stories contains a piece called California Dreaming and is written and read by Rebecca White. the leaves are brown and the sky is grey. I turn the car stereo up and sing along loudly. Another South London traffic jam, but I could be anywhere. Mum's having a CT scan this week. They found something suspicious, that old chestnut, and they need to investigate. Well, I got down on my knees. And I pretend to pray. My partner chuckles in the passenger seat. Did you say pretend? It's began to pray. We laugh. I tell him I'm right. He asks why you'd pretend to pray in a church. If you're only in there to get warm, I say. The song takes me back two decades to my second year of university. I'd taken a few of Mum's old CDs up to Sheffield, including the very best of the Mummers and Papas. That wasn't long before Dad told me about his cancer diagnosis. Now this should have been an eye contact, hand-holding conversation, not an over-the-phone conversation. But there we were. I was sitting cross-legged on my bed, eyes fixed on the bedroom door that I'd painted. It was the colour of raw egg yolk. It's funny the things you remember and the things you don't. I was on my knees that year, but I couldn't pray. Praying without faith is just wishing, right? So I wished and wished and hoped against hope. Many months later, when he was very sick, Dad asked me if I believed in anything else after all this earthly stuff is over. I nodded emphatically. Of course, don't you? You know the preacher likes the call. He knows I'm gonna stay. I'm convinced my partner's got the lyrics wrong again. He thinks the preacher lights the coals, much to my amusement. Since when a church is heated by coal, I joke. He reminds me it's a cold winter's day and that it's the least the preacher can do. We're laughing again. There's a word for this, you know. There has been since 1954, but somehow I only came across it a few weeks ago. Mondegreen, a misunderstood or misinterpreted word or phrase resulting from a mishearing of song lyrics. At what point does mishearing turn into a false memory? Like, when I remember being somewhere, I can only possibly know from family photos. Do we hear and recall what we want to? What we're able to? It's true that some of my memories from that year at university are distorted, and I'm thankful for that. Though I definitely painted my bedroom door with my new housemates. And Dad definitely died. I crawl through the hilly streets of Lewisham and I think about the steeper ones I climbed in Sheffield all those years ago, longing to be somewhere else, somewhere safe and warm. Next time I see Mum, I'll remind her that I've got her CD and ask about the lyrics. I'm pretty sure she'll get them right. The song ends in time with the tick, tick, tick of my indicator as I wait at the traffic lights. All the leaves are brown, and the sky is grey. I hope you enjoyed this brief little story, and it hasn't taken up too much of your time. 
more fleeting episodes of Mercifully Short Stories will be available for your instant pleasure soon. <laughs>